hi what's up so by looking at your face i can clearly see that you clicked on this video to get entertained by me otherwise you will go watch someone else probably challenge accepted so apparently maine 4 mahine se koi video upload nahi ki hai i was busy with college stuff you know exams the first semester ke aur कुछ ऐसी भी चीज़ है जो कि पर्सनल है जिसका इस वीडियो से कोई लेना देना नहीं है ठीक है सो so, जैसे ही सेकेंड सेमेस्टर आया मैंने अपने आप से सोचा कि मैं ऐसा क्या बनाऊँ मैं किस चीज़ पे वीडियो बनाऊँ जिससे मेरा मूड लिफ्ट अप हो जाए एंड सरप्राइज सरप्राइज मुझे कंटेंट मिल गया मेरे ही कॉलेज में ऑफ कोर्स सो मेरी एक क्लासमेट है जिसका नाम छवि मुखीम है शी इज़ अ बर्डिंग राइटर और अभी चार महीने पहले उसकी पहली बुक लॉन्च हुई थी जिसका टाइटल है ब्लूज काउंटलेस मीनिंग्स ऑफ इमोशन ठीक है इट्स अ पोइट्री बुक उसने मैं एक को एक फ्री कॉपी दे दी आई रेड इट एंड अभी मैं यहाँ पे बैठ के रिव्यू वीडियो बनाऊंगा तो थोड़ी हट के होगी ऑफकोर्स सो या गेट योर सेल्फ इन अ कंफर्टेबल प्लेस एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड रियल क्विक छवि मुखी मेरी क्लासमेट है इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि मैं इसके बारे में बहुत सारी एक्स्ट्रा चीज़ें बताऊँगा ठीक है फॉर्मेलिटीज निभा के भाई चुपचाप में बुक रिव्यू पर भाग जाऊँगा so she is basically from Rajasthan uh, probably Bikaner I guess and the school life is by gosh a lot of transfers yaar uh, probably because of her parents jobs I guess yeah, anyways she did her schooling up till 6th standard in Sri Saraswati Vidya Vihar and Vishakhapatnam 7th and 8th in Sri Jain Public School Bikaner 9th and RSC Bikaner 10th and Doon International School Dehradun Eleventh and twelfth in Lauded Public School, Shimla. It's got to be three years of boarding school, I guess. Currently, she is in Dial Singh College. मुझे इस पे ज़्यादा elaborate करने की ज़रूरत नहीं है. ये चीज़ मैं पहले भी बोल चुका हूँ. और या और क्या बोलूँ? इस पे I guess uh, she likes painting and traveling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's it going to be about the author. Let's move on. Since we are dealing with a poetry book here, I must tell you that there are total 28 poems in this book. Uh, two written by a guest writer named Shreya Saraf. Most of the poems are written in freestyle. Uh, all right, some of them do follow a rhyming scheme of A A B B C C A. Uh, something something like that. I'm I'm not sure. I'm not an expert in all of this. The whole book deals with the different emotions we. experience when we are teenagers of love of rejection of letting go and uh, surprisingly specific things that we are not able to describe in words but the poet herself did that for us nice another interesting point i would like to mention is that some of the poems have rather interesting words for title for example there is this poem titled gammy which goes as follows let me guess apparently i don't want to be attracted but her rough jeans and looks attract people she is not keen of making gangs but she has her own style of bangs of your piercing tells that you love caring you want to show that you are rude but actually not everyone viewed you hate being selfish and girly but you love being childish skin full of tattoos Generally speaks who are you you won't care where your brass strips grow it seems you took some dose you look like tom boy but you are rather than that wearing a cap rather than scarf it seems you are holding a cigarette gaff you mind your job trying to want to be a bob let me guess that makes you different at first i was like uh, does a word like this really exist uh, what does this mean and i went on to google and searched it and yeah yeah it exists actually it means a girl that looks attractively boyish or a tomboy for a matter and, and i was like okay nice one increasing my vocabulary day by day ab maine puri kitab padhi hui hai apni free time mein and i have my five favorites uh, based on my personal preference tumhara lag sakta hai uh, you can read and find out दिस बुक इज अवेलेबल ऑन एमेजॉन एक सौ उनतालीस रुपये में लेट्स गो स्टार्टिंग विद नंबर फाइव वी हैव दोम एप्स एंड माइंडेड विच गोज लाइक दिस 
if I had a dollar for every time I walked into the kitchen only to immediately forget why my god I'd be a millionaire and if I had a quarter for every time I went out to garage for a hammer or a screwdriver only to come walking inside 15 minutes later with no hammer no screwdriver but a beer and a frozen pizza shit i'd probably have enough money to buy a mansion in bel air and if i had a dime for every time i lost my mind on my train of thought then wait i was a going for a relatable to hai and embarrassing as it might sound ye ho chuka hai bahut baar mere saath subah subah uth ke bhai बर्तन लाने जाओ और भूल जाओ कौन सा बर्तन लाना है देन योर पेरेंट्स ये लेट यू या नॉट अ ग्रेट थिंग टू टॉक अबाउट बट एनी हैव मूविंग ऑन टू नंबर फोर वी हैव गुड अनफ विच रीड्स फाइट इट फाइट इट डोंट अलाउ द डीमेंट टू बी फेड साइलेंस साइलेंस द नेगेटिव वॉइस इज इन योर हेड step back close your eyes take the time to realign we are always so damn hard on ourselves when we try and define our self worth we are all children of this earth we are not separate we are not alone and we are most certainly good enough ab main nahi chahta ki abhi yahi pe pura emotional sound karu इमोशनल हो जाऊं क्योंकि ये रोना धोना मुझे आगे के लिए बचा के रखना हुआ है बट देर आर टाइम्स वेन आई हैव एक्चुअली फेल्ट लाइक रेडी डाउन एंड आई हैव डाउटेड माय सेल्फ लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल आई एम अ कंटेंट क्रिएटर ऑल राइट एंड व्हेन आई सी अदर कंटेंट क्रिएटर्स जो मेरे एज ग्रुप के फेली डूइंग वेल और मैं किसी का नाम ले लेना नहीं चाहता क्योंकि भाई पंगे रखे कुछ के साथ तो या वेन आई सी देर वीडियोज ओके वेन आई सी देर वीडियोज विच अकॉर्डिंग टू मी समाइम्स बेटर देन माई सेल्फ एंड आई जस्ट इमेजिन लाइक वाओ आई विश आई कैन क्रिएट समथिंग लाइक दैट बट मैं नहीं कर सकता सो आई डू फील डाउन या फिर ऐसा भी होता है कि दिस वीडियो इज नॉट अप टू standards according to me yeah according to me i am the one saying that all right but unko me se zyada engagement mil rahi hai to mera is platform pe aake mehnat karne ka fayda kya hai jab koi face cam video ke samne uh, 15 minute bakwas kar raha hai aur usko zyada views mil rahe hain aur main gameplay ke piche kar raha hu usse zyada knowledge rakhte hue kisi specific topic ke bare mein aur mere ko engagement nahi mil raha kyunki main apparently gameplay pe bana raha hu and it's a high time that has stopped doing this but it's my choice right to zyada ho gaya i now not making sense thoda sa bhi but the gist of it is ki ha main apne aap ko compare karta hu kabhi kabhi kuch creators se fellow creators aur jinse main apanga hua hai and i feel like i'm not good enough all right and i feel like i'll just quit youtube and some, some day get a job bro why am i doing this but then i realize that you know everyone is good at something or bad at something so i have to keep on going and besides that's not just one reason that's not the only reason there are many more reasons frankly but i'll just talk about the second reason and that is i've had some friends of mine who came to this platform before me and one of them was my school friend pranoy and he he made some pretty good videos but then back in 2019 he just left because us ka man utar gaya in sab se and aur bhi aise creator friends the mere kuch creators the jinhe main janta tha job nahi hai is platform pe and i'm just i'm just going on because i I feel like मैंने ये चीज इसलिए करना चालू किया क्योंकि मुझे इसमें कुछ दिखा है मुझे मुझे नहीं पता मैं उस गोल को अचीव कर पाऊंगा 
द गोल ऑफ बींग रिकग्नाइज बाई एवरी वन ताकि मेरे को मेरी ऑडियंस मिल जाए बट आई एम आई एम डूइंग माई बेस्ट आई एम डूइंग माई बेस्ट इज हाउ ओ भाई मुझे लग रहा है मैंने अपनी लाइफ स्टोरी बता दी एक तरह से भाई एनी हाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू पॉइंट नंबर थ्री आई गेस इट्स थ्री एक्चुअली इट्स टाइटल नो मैटर एंड इट गोज लाइक दिस नो मैटर हाउ गुड नेचर्ड यू आर नो मैटर हाउ पोलाइट फ्रेंडली ऑनेस्ट सब वन इज गोइंग टू हेट यू और एटलीस्ट डिसलाइक यू and no matter how rotten you are no matter how many people you have heard someone is going to think you are already something and no matter how loud you shout someone is going to ignore you and no matter how well you hide someone is going to see you and no matter how hard you try you never be able to please please everybody so you might as well just be yourself मुझे नहीं लगता है इसके ऊपर टिप्पणी करने की कोई आवश्यकता है इट्स वेरी सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी आई जस्ट मूव ऑन टू द सेकेंड वन आई नो बॉय ओ बॉय दिस वन हैज अ वेरी स्पेशल मीनिंग फॉर मी मैं चाहता तो इसको नंबर वन स्पॉट पे रखता बट दैट स्पॉट वेंट टू सम वन एल्स अपेंटली एंड देर अ रीजन भी वो मैं बाद में बताऊँगा पहले ये वाला पढ़ के सुना देता हूँ तुम लोग को माई एक्स बेस्ट फ्रेंड आई कॉन्ट वेट टू रीड दिस वन मैन फॉर यू ऑल आई लव यू आई लव यू विथ एवरी पीस ऑफ माई सेल्फ आई केयर अबाउट यू आई ऑलवेज रीच आउट एंड फेल बैड इफ यू डेंट टॉक फॉर अ फ्यू आवर्स बट आवर्स टर्न इन टू डेज and days turned into lonely nights and eventually into months of internal hurt i wondered when you'd reach out to me but that day never ceased to come i love you and always will but i needed to realize that i wasn't as important to you as you were to me and this is the hardest decision i've ever had to make to let my best friend go the one i thought i would never have to say goodbye to but it was the right thing to do for me i had so many nights of tears and pain thinking about us i wondered if you cared and you did just not enough for me anymore i had to let go because i am learning to put my feelings first and because i have had enough of this pain <sighs> apparently me sath aisa ek incident ho gaya where i had to lose my best friend okay my female best friend apparently and maine apni ye wali kahani kuch class mein isko bata rakhi hai and if you are not one of them then uh, has a small little summary I prepared without any words. <laughs> अब अगर इससे बात नहीं बनी तो I guess मैं गलत जेंडर में पैदा हुआ हूँ But oddly enough, you have to realize that every bad situation you have faced in your life, every mistake you have committed, every bad relationships you have had ever, as long as you're holding on to it, you'll never be able to be free. and so you have to move on from it and you have to let it go which also is the title of the poem i've kept on number 1 position on my list of favorites mujhe is par kuch nahi bolna hai seedha padh ke suna deta hu often the biggest lessons you can receive is knowing when to let go it's so difficult to do to look at someone who makes you incredibly happy but also causes you undeniable pain and say i'm moving from you but it's an action that you need to take if you care about yourself it doesn't matter how happy they make you if they're also the cause of the sorrow you must leave and not return until you can just be happy in their presence 
this isn't to say that they can't bring you sorrow but if there isn't an abundance of happiness and there is an abundance of pain then you need to leave in order to save yourself if you can never be just happy with them by your side a pain will always follow and outweigh the happiness that they bring then you need to accept that this was as far as this person was meant to stay in your life often the most beautiful lesson is the hardest and leaving is the most difficult out of the rest to do but to love yourself you need to learn to let go of those who can't give you the happiness that belongs to you avoid the people that only love you when it serves them that only call when there is trouble that do not rejoice in your happiness that do not open their arms when you desperately need to be held avoid the people who make you feel anything less than whole with that out of the way i must say ki i have like two complaints regarding this book first of all there are some spelling errors and the illustrations look really pixelated like really chavi not to sound greedy and all but next time you plan on writing a book and you need an illustrator hire me i'll do it gladly for a price of course kisi ke sath honest book review samapt kisi ke sath aaj ki video ye samapt karte hain like share and subscribe kar dena and also comment happy birthday chavi mukim for 10 hours of good luck every day theek hai matlab kisi ke piche cheat ke liye nahi bhagte birthday ke din theek hai अब मैं जा रहा हूँ मुझे किसी का ब्रेकअप सॉन्ग सुनना है बाय